Hello. This is going to be a quick demo tutorial on using the Google Spreadsheet articulation document. When I open up the document, I notice that uh, my first page is an instructions page. And on the bottom of the spreadsheet, I've got four tabs. Instructions, where I am now, data, dashboard A, and dashboard B. I want to start adding data for my class, so I'm going to click on the data tab on the bottom. Once I click on that, I'll see that there have been students added to the sheet already, organized by class. I'm going to be adding data as Mr. Kent. All of the students and data that's on this sheet right now are completely fictional. So I'm going to scroll down until I see my name in the column G. And here I am, Mr. Kent. And I'll see that some data has already been added. We've got student's name, gender, race, uh, and age. I need to fill in the blanks. The first two empty columns, column K and column L, are for next year's class. With this sheet, I provide an initial placement, just, an, just sort of a rough draft of what next year's class might look like or where my students uh, might be placed. During articulation, these placements will be fine-tuned. After that, I've got uh, an academic column, sort of a general, um, uh, general lens of this child's academic um, ability, an ELA column, so specifically about ELA, a math column, specifically about math and behavior. And each of these is uh, scored on a 1 to 4 scale. You'll notice that these cells have down pointing arrows. When I click the down pointing arrow, I can actually choose from a drop down from 1 to 4, or I can just type in with my keyboard. So I can go through and score this child, and I get to my DRA column. If you haven't done the DRA yet, don't worry. Uh, you can always come back to the spreadsheet and fill it in later. It's not a big deal. This is a live document, so uh, there's no versioning that we have to worry about. So did you, which version are you using to do articulation? When you get around to, to doing the DRA for that child, just um, come back to the sheet and fill in the blanks. After that, columns R through X are whether or not the child is getting any sort of special services. And all you have to do is put in an X in the box that qualifies. Okay, so now I've scored my students, then it's time to do an initial placement. So remember, this is just the initial placement. These uh, placement will be fine-tuned during the articulation meeting, but this placement will help make that meeting a little less painful. So when I look at my spreadsheet, I go back to column K and column L. So I've got a class A and a class B. You may not have two class choices. It may just be class A. The only reason that I have two here is because the numbers for next year are uncertain in my grade level. We're not sure if the uh, classes, if a class will be split. So because the numbers are uncertain, I'm making two placements just in case. In fact, if you click the down pointing arrows there, you'll notice that class A and class B have two different, cho uh, two different quantities of classes, so the choices are different um, because we're on the cusp of a split. When I'm making my placement, I can go down to dashboard A on the bottom to see how my classes are, um, are balancing. Dash the dashboards on the bottom, dashboard A is for the class A choice set and dashboard B is for the class B choice set, gives me an idea of how my classes are balanced. At the top, I can see the number of students in each class. Underneath that, it breaks down by gender, by race, by academics, behavior, and special services. Each section has two columns, a male and a female column, and then a total on the side. This basically just totals each category. 
But using those totals, I can see if there's any big skews in the way things are being placed. So for instance, I can see that um, I've got uh, you know, a total of eight points higher in general academic ability in class two than class one. So I can go back to my data and say, you know what, let's see if I can move a child from class two to class one. I'm going to go to Freddie, and instead of Freddie being in class two, I'll put Freddie in class one. And when I go back to dashboard A, I'll see that our academic scores are now balanced. So um, if you scroll down on the dashboard, you'll see that the roster um, is listed here in alphabetical order, including the do not place with and any special notes that might be for the children in that class. In this particular situation, dashboard B has three sections, so I can also look at how um, the three section choice in this case um, is uh, shaking out. And that is how the articulation sheet works. So the dashboards are not editable, they're just for reference. All of the editing takes place on the data sheet. I hope that this was an instructional, useful tutorial, and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to uh, get in contact with me. Thank you very much.